What are the benefits slash risks of carrot stretching with your horse? How often should you do it to make a difference and common mistakes to avoid? You're a stretcher, aren't you? You do a lot of this? I do, yeah. Okay, yes. Yeah, yep, but, but, um, and and I have, (laughs) I have the book. This is the carrot Uh, book, yep. And, um, but I am not gonna answer this myself. I went to the author of the book and I said, oh. yeah, we, we got a question on this. Could you Good to know people? <laughs> yeah. Could you write me an answer? So yeah, her name is Hillary Clayton. She's a vet. She's a, a professor and McPhail dressage chair emerita. You've heard of emeritus. Well, when yes. you're a female emeritus, you're an emerita. <laughs> um, Michigan State University College of Vet Med. And here's what she says. Uh, Carrot stretches are exercises in which the horse is trained to stand in place while following the movements of bait. So they're baited stretches. And usually it's a small piece of carrot cut lengthwise. There's a picture in the book, and we'll show it, where, um, because you don't want them to bite you. So she makes (laughs) makes a little device where you have the carrot out here and there's a protection. And it might be a, a plastic, I have to think if it's a plastic like lid cover. So your okay. hand's protected. Oh, yeah. that's smart. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bait is moved to a position that either rounds the horse's neck or bends it sideways. So longitudinal or lateral flexion. In these stretch positions, the horse has to use many muscle groups in his limbs and back to maintain his balance. So it's it's core strengthening. The same. Like in the neck stretches? Yep. This is how you strengthen. We call them carrot stretches, but they're really core strengtheners. Interesting. Several research studies have shown that the small muscles that stabilize the joints between the vertebrae protect against development of spinal arthritis are activated and strengthened by performing carrot stretches several times a week, ideally just before riding. So is it by like removing their head that forces them to engage their core so they don't like, so they don't lose balance? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Carrot stretches are not appropriate for horses with impaired balance due, for example, to neurologic disease because they could fall over. So if you have a horse with a condition, speak to your vet first before starting it. Like like when you do an exercise tape, you know, video, it says, talk to your physician before starting this program. Yeah. Yeah, (laughs) Same Um, thing. (laughs) There aren't really any risks associated with doing carrot stretches but I recommend having the horse standing on a soft, non-slippery surface in case something spooks them. Yep, that seems fair. So not a, like a wet wash doll. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you should watch how your horse's back shape changes. If he hollows his back during the exercises, don't use that particular exercise because it's not doing, it's, it's not helping, it's not doing the right thing. Yeah, he's not engaging his core. Yeah, and then a final word about carrot stretches they do indeed have a beneficial effect by stretching the horse's neck and back, but they're even more valuable for the muscle strengthening effects. That is fantastic. I never realized about the core engagement for it. I thought it was just to kind of like open up the neck and maybe a little bit of shoulder. One of the exercises in the book, she hasn't broken out. Um, one of them is you uh, use the tail to pull your horse to the, his hind end to the side, like, yep. you know, 10 times. Well, think about it. That's not stretching so much as strengthening his hind legs. Because you're creating some like resistance for him. Yeah. 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 So it's pretty cool stuff. I wish all I had to do was turn my neck to engage my, get a core workout. (laughs) (laughs) Make my life easier. That's fantastic. That was great information. That was so nice of her to provide, reach out and provide a. uh, Well, I I knew that, um, she feels very strongly about this and she would take the opportunity to, to talk about something she loves. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing that for us. I was get some pro tips right there. <laughs> right.